Hello and welcome. This tutorial will guide you through using the Click Pro script for Adobe Illustrator. This powerful script allows you to automatically generate fully editable, vector-based calendars for any year, with extensive options for customization, including layout, language, colors, and typography. To start, we will create a new document by going to the File menu in the top left corner and clicking on New. For this first example, we will select the A3 preset in a landscape orientation. After selecting your preset, click the Create button to open your artboard. To create a background for our calendar, select the Rectangle tool from the main toolbar on the left-hand side of the screen. Click and drag a rectangle to cover the entire artboard. With the rectangle selected, let's change its color. Double-click the fill swatch in the toolbar to open the color picker. You can choose any color you like, but for this tutorial, we will enter the hex code for a deep maroon color. Click OK to apply it. Now, let's run the calendar script. Go back to the file menu, scroll down to scripts, and click on the script Click Pro. The script's dialog box will pop up, showing the General tab by default and click the Generate Calendar button to see what it creates. As you can see, the script has instantly generated a complete 2026 calendar. All the elements, including the year, months, and days, are vector objects. You can select, move, resize, and change the color of any part of the calendar. Now, let's create a different style of calendar. We will create a new document again. Go to File Then New, but this time, select the A3 preset in a portrait orientation and click Create. Run the script again by navigating to File, Scripts, Click Pro. In the General tab, let's adjust the layout for our portrait document. Under the 12-month layout section, change the number of columns to 3 and the number of rows to 4. The script offers a lot of flexibility. In the Language Preset drop-down, you can choose from several different languages. For languages that read from right to left, you can check the right to left direction box. You can also change the first day of week, from Sunday to Monday if you prefer. Let's move to the other tabs. The Day and Month Names tab allows you to change how the names of the months and days are displayed. In the Holidays and Events tab, you can add a list of important dates that will be highlighted on the calendar and listed below it. You can even import a pre-made holiday list from a text file. The Typography tab gives you full control over the fonts. You can change the font family, size, and case for the main title, the month names, the day names, and the dates. The Colors tab allows you to set specific hex color codes for every text element, letting you match the calendar perfectly to your brand or design scheme. At the bottom of the window, you have several useful options. Save as default will save your current settings for the next time you run the script. You can also export your settings to a file to share them, or import settings from another file. Reset factory defaults will revert all settings back to their original state. Click Generate Calendar. The script generates a new calendar in the portrait layout we specified. If you scroll down, you can see the list of holidays we added is neatly formatted at the bottom, and the corresponding dates are highlighted on the calendar itself. Remember, every single element is a separate vector object. Using the selection tool, you can easily click on a specific month, move it around, resize it, or edit the text directly. This makes it incredibly easy to integrate the calendar into any design project you are working on. You can find the script in the link in the description. Thanks for watching. Stay creative and keep designing.